Welcome back to another battery test. I've got some cells that were sent in via VAP cell. This time it's 18650s and I have four samples of two different types, two different capacities with these. The normal INR cells are rated to 3000 milliamp hour and 3400 milliamp hour for the M34 NCR batteries. As I have four of each battery, it'd be interesting to see how they stack up regards consistency. The wraps on these are decent quality and they do have the verification codes that you can scratch off and check that they are genuine. Although they're both unprotected cells, the higher capacity ones probably work better for lights. I noticed that the difference in size around about 1mm with the M34s being a touch longer. That shouldn't make any difference but I have the data sheet with the exact measurements on them so just double check that to make sure. With each pair you do get a colour coordinated case, so the purple one for the 3000 milliamp hour rated one. They've got some mesh panels inside and we've got black for the higher capacity cells. Onto the data sheet for both types of battery, take note of the maximum charge rate and the standard charge. Standard charge is going to give you a longer lifespan on the batteries. As usual the higher drain cells do take a bigger charge if you need to fast charge them. Next up I have the capacity discharge chest. Remember this is a best case scenario. So in each case with the four cells, the 3000, they were coming in slightly higher than the rating. On the 3400 milliamp hour ones, they were coming in pretty much exactly almost on the 3400 rating. Onto the internal resistance test, I found that the higher drain cells have slightly lower internal resistance, ranging from around 16 to 21 milliohms. With the M34 batteries, slightly higher internal resistance, but it's pretty much on spec between 20 to 25 milliohms. As I had four of each, it's interesting to see that they were consistent. There weren't any big variations in either the internal resistance or on the measured discharge capacity. Nothing to complain about with the test results, so the batteries are decent quality and they live up to their claims in terms of their specifications.